the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, live on Team G-O-F TV. And I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks Something. Yo, Ruby, Volume 5, Chapter 12, Vault of the Spring Maiden. See, I wasn't prepared for this, but I got everything I think in this one long run-off sentence. Hazel is Bane, Oscar is Killick, um, John is Yuna. Um, Mercury is Hong Gilson, and oh, Raven's the Spring Maiden! I think that was everything. <laughs> huh? Excuse me? How, why, what? Huh? Oh, God! <laughs> my mind is dead. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, Yo, everything was popping off. I'm like, Hazel, like, my sister went to Bigot Academy and died, and now you go pay off, spin you motherfucker. I'm dying, give me the poison, just give me the lie, just give me the lie. And they start fighting, and then Oscar, like, what you want me to do, man? I you fighting? <laughs> Please, man. She understood. Man, I don't care. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, Ospin took over. Like, yo, in another life, I was Keelix from Soul Calibur, bro. Hit him with the dump, the dump. I'm like, what is going on, bro? Meanwhile, we got new Yuna over here, like, wife, please, you was my backup girlfriend, don't die on me, guys. Sitting up her healing on, I'm like, what the hell, dude? I'm like, this been this dude's similar? like, yo, we could have used this when Uncle Crow was getting fucked up, bro. We could have used that similar thing, cuz oh. But, uh, but I guess you ain't secretly been in love with, with Uncle Crow, so I, I guess, you know, this can be excused. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, my bae sitting up here getting, getting Hong Gilson, Harong, Juri Han, Kim Dong Wan, and the Kim Dong Wan, Cap Wan, and Jay Hoon over here, and and a little bit, and a little bit of Gong Gil and some Ants Louis. Just everybody, every Taekwondo fighter that's been in anything is putting in this work. Putting in this work. And then Ruby, like, she sitting up her, like, yo, I'm mad. And she, like, and she going at them, but we didn't see what happened with that. Let's be for real. I didn't see Raven as a spring maiden. I didn't see that coming. It's like, there were, I can sit up here and think about, there were no context clues. The girl's name was Vernal, for Jehovah's sake. Her name was Vernal, and I'm like, wow. Just wow. I'm like, why, show? Why you do this to me? My brain hurt really bad now. Brain hurt bad. Brain hurt really bad, cuz. Huh? Exqueeze you? I am done right now. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I'm like, what do you want me to do with this information? How am I supposed to digest? But, but it sits up here, and it's like, did Ospin know? Was Uncle Crow playing stupid? What is going on? How could Raven? I just answered my own question in my head. Starts with an O in Zospin, maybe? Because... If he was the one that gave them the power, he would have had to have known that Raven was the Spring Maiden this whole time. He had to have known. So this goes right back to we can't trust Ospin. My brain hurts. This this was too much for me. I'm like between Bane, Killick, Yuna. Hong Gilson, because that's the Taekwondo user we're going with right now. We're going Hong Gilson. I'm just like, oh, 
I feel that honestly, Hong Gilson is probably your best bet. You, you want to know why? You want to know why? Because I, that's me, I want to play some fighting. It, it has been, it, it's been a while since I have played me some fighting layer and and I want to play some fighting layer you know what I'm saying I'm like I don't know I don't know I don't have any idea because the thing is is that I hop right into this with like I'm just gonna go in hype and then while I'm getting hype I'm gonna try to go through my feelings and try to feel this out and figure out what it is that I'm going to do and I still don't know not a clue is that the show the show wins the, the show wins I'm like I gotta give it up I, I didn't see that coming you would think as much as I analyze this show watch this show do what I do with this show that you would think I would have saw this coming. You would have. You would have thought. I would have saw this coming. I did not in any way. Didn't see it coming at all. I don't know what it is at this junction you want me to do with this information. I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, while I'm going through my head, I've been sorting through 50 different thoughts. Shout out to my boy Vigard from Cocteau Cogen. Great fighting game. No one plays the sequel to Earth Guys and The Bouncer, technically, but... I just want to say nice words about Kakto Chojin while I try to digest that Raven is the Spring Night. I, I have to live with this now. I don't know what am I supposed to do with this information. I still don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm like. I would love to sing the L song, but I will be singing the L song because I'm the one. You know what? L, 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 I call it L. Cause I didn't know Raven was a spring maiden. The girl name was Vernon for a guy says that I don't know what to do with this information. But Raven is the spring maiden. So I caught me an L. I caught 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 an L. L. It's very, very large. Cause I didn't see this coming. Just smack me right up in my face. I caught an L. I caught a nail. I caught a nail. I caught a nail. I caught a nail because I didn't see this coming. Raven the Spring made and I caught a nail. And there you go. I caught a nail. That's a big giant nail on my forehead. I caught me a loss on this one. I don't know what else to say about this episode. I'm like, yo. I'm like, that whole last three or four minutes was tense. Because you had Raven reaching for her sword, and I thought it was just to to cut to cut Cinder down for the sake of cutting her down. Because Auntie That's a Raven do what Auntie That's a Raven do. She was trying to save Vernal from getting killed, but that didn't work. She froze her, and it's like I'm thinking, well, this is over. This is over. It's over now, Cinder Earth. Got the spring power. It's over. The game's shut down. Oh, wait, Raven the Spring Man, you got fucked up. Sorry. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from me from this review anymore. I probably should just end the video because what else is there to say? Yeah. Congratulations, John. You can heal people. Well, oh, Hazel, we got good news. Guess what? You banged from Batman now. Um, oh, well, I spent so gangster, he didn't want to talk Keely from Soul Cal about how to whoop a person's ass. So, oh, and while we at it, that boy Mercury sitting up here karate kicking Taekwondo and the shit out of Yang, and it's just like, well, Ruby's angry now, so everybody's about to get right. So, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. 
whatever. Do whatever you want, yo. I'm done. I'm done. I can't anymore. I caught an L. I have to admit I caught an L. I saw the song about me catching a giant L because I didn't see this auntie. That's a ravage coming. I caught an L. I'm man enough to admit when I catch an L. I studied L's for a living and I can admit when I caught one and I caught one this episode. Like, boop. Didn't see it. Didn't even think that was a remote possibility that our little sweet Vernal was nothing but a red herring, a MacGuffin, if you will, but it's like when you think about it and you think about it in hindsight and retrospect, they pushed the Vernal too much. See, I will admit something. When Vernal first came on the scene, I'm like, I kind of knew, I thought I heard that word, then I Googled Vernal, and I knew it had something to do with spring. I should have known then. They lean in too much. They want you to focus this direction. So you don't catch this left hook up. Oh, Raven, the spring made it on my teeth. And that's what happened. So, to review, right? You should play Cocteau Children, maybe. I don't know. I think it's a great fighting game. You know, it isn't perfect. As a sequel to Ergaz and the Toe Ball series and the Bouncer to a less degree, it works. You should play Fighting Lair. It's an amazing game that I wish they'd re-release on something. Oh, Ravens of Spring made it. None of the things I just said just mattered. Oops. I gotta hold this L. L's, 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 L's catching L's. I gotta sing a song one more time. I got caught that left hook that Ravens the Spring made it. Now Auntie Raven about to wreck some shop. So I'm happy in the end I caught a nail. Cause things are about to get with Ricket right now. I don't think Cinder's surviving this. Cause I just don't think she is. So spring versus fall, who gonna win? We'll figure that out next time. Scat. Skittle. Scubobble. Get out of here. Go, 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 Power Rangers. Get out of my face. Just, 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 let's go. I, got, I gotta hold this, right? So let me hold this. The one and the only, the triple, the GLD. That's me, live on Team GRF TV, where you are. i like to thank you for joining me for another installment of the Triple the Guy Speaks song. And with that being said, Ravens the Fall Maiden! <laughs> it seems I forgot one person who called an L. His name was Leo Lano. He called an L. I spent ran into the spot and clucked him with that rod. And then you fell and hit Hazel, who turned into Bane. Uh, 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 uh. Leo Lionheart, you caught the ultimate L. You had a 12-year-old kid it on you. He hit you with that bat, and you went splat. And guess what? You ended up catching the L. Just a bonus for you, Internet. One of the young triple the GLD. Live on Team GRF TV. Always got them L songs for you, baby. Everybody's catching L's. 12th letter alphabet. Pimp! Now, this review is over. Scat, skittle, skibobble. <laughs>